Hello and welcome to today's video. This is going to be my small business bookish gift guide. Obviously this is going up like end of November time probably and you know we're on the lead up to Christmas now so obviously I would say this is like a bit of a Christmas gift guide but this could be used whenever at any point during the year. These are all what I would consider great gifts for bookish people, people who just like reading, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I believe there are eight? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's eight different gifts. These are all from small businesses or can be got from small businesses. I'll explain as we go into each individual item. And yeah, they're all just things that I think are really cool, I would like to receive as a gift. I mean, I already own them, <laughs> like not now, but like if I'd have received them as a gift, um, I would have been so, so happy. And yeah, I just think these are all really cool things. And yeah, I just think it's worth giving all of this a look at. Here on this channel, I do mainly make bookish and um, like booktube content. So I do kind of feel like I can you know, kind of say, this is good, this this would be cool. Uh, obviously, if you are buying for an individual person, take their individual needs into account. Um, you know, if this person only reads on a Kindle or like an e-reader, then some of these gifts aren't going to be relevant. However, you know what I'm saying here, these are all really cool gifts, but obviously, think of the person you're buying for first. Yeah, let's get into it. Um, and obviously, every single company I mention, whether I am just mentioning them because they might do stuff or if I'm recommending them, whatever, everyone I mention will be linked down below in the description. <laughs> so yeah, let's just get into it. So I'm actually wearing one of them and then all of the others are in this big tote bag and this tote bag is also one of them. So this is in no order whatsoever. I've just shoved everything in the one place to get it ready for the video basically. So yeah, let's talk about them. We'll talk about this one first and number one is a bookish jumper. Some sort of like jumper, t-shirt, whatever. Bookish mine says, this is one that I brought for myself and got embroidered with bookish. But the company that I got this from is called Enough Already. They take secondhand items of clothing and either just embroider them with a quote or something themselves or you can get a custom embroidery on it and give this secondhand piece of clothing new life. And majority of the stuff is bookish related when I was looking through. So yeah, I am such a big fan. I got this over a month ago now, I think. About a month ago. Um, and honestly, I've lived in it since. You've probably seen it in so many videos already if you're a regular here. But yeah, I really love it. I just picked this jumper out. It was just a large grey jumper and then did the custom embroidery. I had seen some with bookish on it, which is what gave me the idea to do this, uh, but I just wasn't vibing with any of the colours, so I just picked the colours out myself. So yeah, really, really happy with this. I think it's really cool and really, really like it. So yeah, this is definitely something that I think could be a really cool gift. I would definitely recommend the company that I got this from enough already, but obviously, depending on where you live, like where you are in the world, you should probably be able to find something like this that's local to you as well. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. I think it's really cool and I definitely think it'd make a great gift. Like, I could see myself getting more of these even just like in the future. And I think for someone who does a lot of reading and spends a lot of their time surrounded by books, getting something that's just like, you know, says bookish or getting a custom quote on from like a favourite book, something like that, I think it'd be really thoughtful and a really nice gift to give, you know. If you know someone's favourite book or know someone's favourite quote, which often, if you do not know, might be able to find on Goodreads, some people highlight them. Yeah, you can get it put on a jumper, on a t-shirt, and I think it's really cool. I definitely love this idea, and yeah, would definitely recommend. So gift number one is a bookish item of clothing, whether that be a jumper or t-shirt or anything else you can find. So then my next item is... <laughs> The tote bag so I might as well do the tote bag and then I can get things out of it so this is the actual bag itself the one I have I got for a gift I'm not sure if it was last Christmas or the Christmas before but I did get it as a gift and it says too many books or not enough bookshelves which I feel like anyone who reads reads physical books can 
understand the struggle um and the one that i have is from a company called bookishly um i've never personally purchased from them but i did get gifted quite a few things and have been really happy with them including like this tote bag and a few other things so yeah i would definitely say a tote bag is a really fun gift you you know i definitely really like this one if i can find a link to it i will link the exact one down below but also if someone's got like a favorite independent bookstore or again a favorite book you can normally find these online or in bookstores so i think there's loads of way to make it more personalized or one like this is just really fun and cool and i take this with me pretty much every time i go book shopping which is what tote bags i think are generally used for but even then it doesn't need to be bookish themed you could get a plain tote bag or a create your own tote bag or absolutely anything you wanted and i think it's great so yeah that was number two okay i'm gonna get number three <laughs> going now because i should probably move these somewhere else so at number three bookends bookends are expensive they are and i think they're expensive for what they are because they are just to keep your books in line you don't really use them that much and you're constantly moving them around if you're getting new books if you're changing up your books but they're quite expensive i personally ended up making these um so i made myself a few dinosaur book ends i will bring them a bit closer so you can see hopefully that is hopefully that is focusing on it um but yeah i made these myself and i do believe i made a video on how i made these so i will link that video up above in one of the corners but i'm making them or buying them you can sometimes find bookends in charity shops i'm still on the lookout um but i know you know other places in the country or other places around the world like bookends are easier to find but yeah I would say a bookend is a really good gift if you know someone who has like bookcases or has books all around the house because they aren't something that you always want to splurge on yourself however you know you, you do kind of want them and I don't know if you necessarily need them you definitely can use other things you know before I had bookends I was just using candles at the end of my books to keep them from falling over but I just think they're really nice and they can really elevate like how a book collection looks so yeah bookends obviously these are made myself and i will link the video to how to make them if you do want to do it yourself these are dinosaur but any sort of plastic kids toy you can definitely make yourself and you know this this wasn't expensive i do have a cost breakdown in the video i can't remember it but i think this cost around i want to say eight pound to make but i could be wrong it could be even less than that um but i do know like i, I brought like the gold spray paint especially for this one and stuff so yeah i think anywhere from like two to eight pound is what you'd be looking at depending on how many you're making and the total cost and how much material you can get your hands on but also you can buy them online and buy them on places like etsy and places like that i've definitely considered selling some on etsy um but i have yet to figure out how to package them uh, i do have a few made up that like we're not using and we're not going to use that we're going to use for gifts for birthdays in the upcoming year um but yeah you can definitely buy them online small businesses you can get them in so the different shapes and colors and styles you can get them boho you can get them uh you can get some bookends that are greek uh statue like you can really kind of figure out what your taste is what sort of genre the person reads you could just literally search the genre and bookend and see so many options i think it's something that's really cool and you know i don't think it's something that you'd naturally splurge on yourself because they do get expensive but i think it's something that can be really thoughtful so yeah that is number three i believe now up next i'm going to do the one that keeps falling over in here <laughs> so this is uh, it doesn't look like a lot but this is a custom library stamp so if i you can see here it says if i hold it the correct way up you can see here it says from the library of jay and heather so you know for me m me and my boyfriend we share books we have our books all in the house so that's why we decided to get both our names on it but yeah i got this with a little stamp i got this from a etsy shop the shop that i got mine from is called sweet backflip uk i i found it great i've only stamped a few books so far i got this 
about a month ago um so we have only tested it out and i haven't gone through my books and stamped because basically i want to do an unhaul before i start stamping books if i'm going to unhaul a book you know it seems silly to have stamped it with my name in so until i've done a book haul book unhaul even I'm, i haven't stamped loads but i have got some down here i know i stamped the uh all systems red murder bot diary books because these are a favorite of both mine and my boyfriend so yeah i have used it to stamp i just think it's really cute especially you know one day i'd love to have enough books to constitute a library i'd love to have books that really feel like me and you know i, I do try and narrow down my red books as much as possible i keep what i enjoyed i want them to represent me and my reading style and you know that is in 10 to 20 years i'd love to have a full-on library people can come around and literally pick out a book you know they're not strangers um but you know friends and family that i trust to take a book and keep it in good condition come around pick one out and i just think this is a really lovely touch honestly it's a bit of a silly one it's not one that is practical or you need to use for any reason but i've wanted the, one of these for ages and ages i've had them favorited for so long and i eventually just got myself one and i'm so happy that i did um yeah and i think it does make a great gift because like for instance i have had this favorited for probably over a year but I wasn't prioritising it because it's not necessary, you know, you don't really need it but it's so lovely and it does bring a lot of joy and I think anyone who loves books or loves having a book collection, you know, because collecting books and reading books are different hobbies, anyone like that would probably love something like this. Um, I will link this exact one down below but even just that shop has so many different designs um, and you know there's other shops out there as well, that's just the one that I used and the one that I've really liked so yeah uh gift option number four would be a little bookish stamp which is not going to focus at all but there we go then number five is bookmarks i think bookmarks are things that get overlooked quite a lot um but i think they make such lovely gifts or you know if you've got someone you want to buy a few things for they could also make such lovely um like stocking stuffers stuff like that but these are really cool the one that i am showing here is a corner bookmark this is actually from my auntie's business um carol's cushions which will be linked down below as all the others as well um but yeah i really love this i really like the corner bookmarks especially for hardback books they're just slot on the corner they don't take up too much space because often with fabric bookmarks i find they're really thick but here it's so thin like the only bulky bit is on the corner that's on the outside so let me grab a hardback so for instance you're reading along i got to chapter 15 here wow that was fast pop your little corner on i don't know i i, I really like this i took these bookmarks on holiday with me because i kept everything neat and tidy they're literally not going to fall out so yeah i'm a big fan of like corner bookmarks but whatever bookmark the person likes whatever type they like to use whether that corner fabric paper card i think you can get like wooden bookmarks nowadays as well and metal bookmarks are a thing but yeah i think bookmarks are often something that is overlooked but can make an amazing gift you can get one you can get a set however you like um you know you, you always use bookmarks you need bookmarks to read so that is my next gift option then my sixth gift option that i'd like to you know give an idea is actually i don't have a specific shop for i think it, it's something you need to search for do a bit of research in for the genre or the type of book or just you know what the person likes in a bit more personal sense but this is a bookish art print so i have this one here i'm not going to be able to show it with this light am i so i have this one here which you can make out a bit better though and this i think i just searched witchy book art print on etsy and got this but I, I can't find it anymore i can't find the shop i can't find anything so unfortunately i'm not going to be able to link this one if I ever, you know, get any notifications in the future, if I see it again, I, I will, like, update the link. But at the moment, unfortunately, I can't link it. However, I would say any bookish art prints, like, you know, aimed at the person and their personal reading taste would be such a cool idea. Personally, I have a lot of, like, art prints around my unread shelves upstairs. And I have recently brought a few 
not bookish but like art prints to go up by the shelves in this room and i just think they can really help make space they're really cute really pretty this one was what i wanted but you can get them specifically for genres you can get them specifically for tropes you can get them specifically for series i know for instance here i've got like quite a bit of sarah j mass if you search uh sarah j mass on etsy in bookish art print you will find so 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 much and yeah i just think they're really cool gifts and something that's really nice to give to someone and not only is it like to do with their like bookish hobbies and what they like to read it's also a decoration and adding to their home so yeah that is gift number six that i would recommend and then gift number seven that i think is such a cool gift to give is a bookish candle so i have a couple of these the one that i've grabbed is like a very generic one so you could grab one like this for any reader even if you know like nothing of their reading taste so this one here is go away i'm reading and this is from grace and honey these smell absolutely amazing i've got two of these and they smell great but obviously it's also very cool to have like a bookish candle it sits on my bookshelves it's you know very much for reading for that reading time um yeah this, this one is going where i'm reading i've also got one for like a bookish series as well and yeah i would definitely recommend some form of bookish candle as a great gift i think any sort of like bookish candle is great like this one is really generic and to be honest like because it was generic i just got one that um i really like the sound of the scent of so you know i also stand by the whole go away i'm reading thing you know you want peace and quiet but you can get generic ones or you can get them very specific to tropes that people like or you can get them very specific to genres or character inspired candles it's this massive thing that i think if you're not a part of like the online bookish community you don't necessarily know is going to be a thing but yeah bookish candles they're great they smell so good you burn them obviously they're a candle and i just feel like it can really add to that like bookish reading time especially in the winter if you want to just be cozy and you want to put some candles on it's really cool you know um if you want to reread a favorite book and you've got a candle like inspired by that book you can like light it and have that as like a whole like atmospheric thing yeah i think this is a really cool gift idea and then last but not least i'm not gonna lie this is a bit of a cheeky one to end on because it's my own business so this is self-promotion here uh, i run a little uh, mystery book business on etsy called random reads uk it is uk only at the moment unfortunately because postage is horrible um but yeah so a mystery book some sort of surprise book for someone to open um these make great gifts that they, they are also very cool to buy yourself that's kind of how i got into this um but i think they make such cool gifts so for instance I've, I've just picked a random couple up that are currently listed online um but this one young adult mystery no major netflix series that's all the information you have on it but obviously like depending on how much or how little you're into books you might even have a couple of guesses of like what that could be you know especially with no major netflix series you know it, it narrows the pool you can guess but then for instance this one we've just got new adult fiction cultural mental health and it just kind of gives you a vibe of what the book's going to be so you know aspects that you like in books you can look out for being listed but then you open it up and it's a complete surprise what's inside you couldn't could end up with a popular book that you've been wanting to read for ages you could end up with a book that you've never heard of that becomes a new favorite obviously you could end up not liking the book and you could end up just you know finding it fine but i feel like the fact that it's this big surprise that you get to open and you know it really is like an endless possibility of what this could end up being and what sort of impact this surprise book could have on your life i don't know i find it really cool but like it's my business i've decided to set it up because of how cool i find it so i'm a little bit biased but yeah number eight my last gift idea is a mystery book and these are pre-loved as well so you are helping give a book a second chance at life but yeah again i'll link it down below if you want to have a look 
Oh, and in every single video I make, I have a discount code for my own business in the description. So yeah, if you are ever thinking of ordering, don't forget to use the discount code that will be in the description. So those were all eight of the, you know, bookish gift ideas from small businesses or that you can get from small businesses that I have. I hope that, you know, in the next year I'll discover more. Hopefully I can make another one of these next year. But I just think that all of these that I've shown today are really cool. They're all things that I own and really like and, you know, really think would make a great gift. They're things that I would happily gift to bookish friends. So, yeah, that is kind of the entire video. I do really hope you liked it. I do really hope that it's given you some ideas. Obviously, I know Christmas is coming up. I am posting this in November, but, you know small businesses that it's not mass produced it's a single person or a small team of people putting these things together to get sent out you need to order a bit earlier so I'm hoping that by putting this out a little bit more before Christmas that'll give people the opportunity if they choose to to actually get these things um and yeah I hope you enjoyed the video I hope this has given you some inspiration some ideas if you're looking to get someone a bookish gift or a bookish person in your life something to enjoy I do hope that you found this helpful and if it's after Christmas and you're watching this birthdays exist too enjoy thanks for watching give it a like if you liked it subscribe down below if you'd like to see more like this bye